Hey, welcome back to another fun episode of Revelations brought to you by Inspired Creations, H-O-M. I, of course, am the most influential speaker from the House of M, and I am very happy to bring to you today this episode featuring G.I. Joe figures, the ones that I've been after, the ones you've, if anyone who knows me and follows me on my personal um, social media outlets. I have been raving about these figures. I get to show them finally to you so you can see what all the hubbub was about. And guess what? I am going to open one of them. I am going to open Snake Eyes because that figure is fantastic. Lord have mercy. Don't want to waste any time. Let's show you the G.I. Joe figures I am talking about and that I am so happy that I am able to finally have possession of thanks to the help of everyone, uh, but especially the queen of the House of M who helped me uh, finally get these figures into my possession. Let's get right into it. Let's look at some G.I. Joe. Okay, the first one we're going to show you from the G.I. Joe line, uh, the classified series, is the Red Ninja. Uh, this one, uh, honestly, I wasn't really crazy about it until I saw this up close. One reason being, look at all the different accessories that comes with this figure. This one is, uh, I'm pretty sure he's part of Cobra. God, if I'm wrong, I don't, I don't He's got to be a part of Cobra. Look at the back art. Look how fantastic that is. The This back art, I won't show you on each figure because they're all the same. But um, the back art is just incredible. There's all the different uh, G.I. Joe figures that are coming out for you. Red Ninja's right there, so there he is. But again, look at the accessories that the thing comes with. I don't, I don't even know the names of these weapons, but he's got like two axes right here, two of them. Uh, two other blades here, a sword, another one of these like staff with another sword on it, two side blades, just incredible. And the amount of detail that is on this figure is just amazing. Take a look at this figure. This is the Red Ninja from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Okay, next we have from the G.I. Joe good guys, right? The good guys line, um, Gung Ho. I was excited to get this one because he actually looks a lot like his uh, 1980s counterpart. Uh, updated, of course, but uh, that, that's been a, one of the complaints that I've heard about this line from uh, the people who grew up with this. Um, the, the figures that they're coming out with, they're all been modernized and they all look uh, updated for 2020 or whatnot. But they, some of them lose the what made lost their appeal with the updates. Uh, Gung Ho to me is actually very very cool looking um, with the updated uh, look that he has on here. So I had to get him. But this is Gung Ho. He comes with an awesome looking backpack, um, a gun that I think shoots like grenades or something out of this thing. Look at that. Look at the barrel on that thing. And two more. I don't even know machine gun apparatus or whatever. But if you look closely, he's got the classic uh, tattoo on his chest there. Um, the shirtless, I'm sorry, yeah, shirtless look from Gung Ho. The sleeveless look from Gung Ho. The amount of detail on this figure is just incredible as well. That was a terrible view. Um, but yeah, take a look at that. I'll see, back up a little bit. Uh, take a look at this, but just incredible. This is Gung Ho. Uh, very, very awesome. And um, I might get two of this one so I can open it. Or I might open this one. I don't know. But very, very cool looking. But I had to get Gung Ho because uh, he looks fantastic just like the original figure. Okay, the next figure we have is Scarlet. Had to get her too because she looks phenomenal. Very, very awesome with uh, the color uh, used on her... Um, her out her uniform and it's very reminiscent of the 80s look as well awesome art here too she comes with of course crossbow and one two three knives uh for her to yield a wield <laughs> um merciless um at her cobra enemies but again the color scheme very true to the original figure um she looked great modernized as well this one right here almost looks like, I mean, I mean, I guess it's like Iron Man colors. I know it has nothing to do with, with the line, but um, very reminiscent of Iron Man kind of color scheme there too. But made her own. This is Scarlet. Uh, very, very cool looking figure. 
Uh, I hope you were able, to, uh, lucky enough to find her in the in the wild as well. Next up is my favorite leader of the GI Joe forces. I saw him announced, saw his figure. He is a must. This is none other than Duke himself. Comes with another fantastic backpack with a shovel, just like the real army, right? Um, comes with a like binoculars right here, pistol, a machine gun. Duke looks phenomenal. He is updated tremendously well. This is what I want from the G.I. Joe figures, the G.I. Joe classified line. This is Duke. This is so fantastic. Um, I'm very tempted to open him up and have some wonderful play uh, with this figure and have him pose tremendously. I remember when the uh, six-inch line of figures started being really popular with the Marvel Legends, and my mind went immediately, no lie, my mind went immediately to, can you imagine if they did this kind of articulation with Star Wars figures and G.I. Joe figures? Well, I am happy to say that I lived out that dream that no one will believe that I predicted way back when Marvel Legends first came out, but um, I have them in my hands. This is Duke. Yo, Joe. All right, and of course, if we have the team leader for the G.I. Joe, we have to have the team leader for the Cobra Forces. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Cobra Commander. Cobra Commander comes with two additional hands right there so he can hit you right across the chops and then he can point to something that he wants you to pick up. You, you over there, you go get that. Um, this is Cobra Commander. Comes with a pistol. Uh, I, It's a gun. I don't want to get hit by it, that's all I know. Um, and this cool looking uh, sword. Look at that. With a Cobra handle. Amazing. Look at that. Um, Cobra Commander updated for the 2020 look for the Cobra. I'm sorry, for the G.I. Joe Classified series here. This one is uh, is, is cool. I honestly would have liked this kind of color for his outfit, the traditional light blue as opposed to the dark navy blue that we have here. Um, I also would, I desperately want a hooded version of Cobra Commander 2. Um, granted, if they do a hooded version, I'm, I'm sure they're probably going to keep the dark blue. But, hey, if you're watching, you're not. But if you are, I would uh, appeal to the fans. Give us a figure with the light blue uh, Cobra Commander. Um, it would be awesome to have to our collection, and we will buy it. But this is Cobra Commander, leader of the Cobra Forces. Check him out. All right, second to last figure here. This is uh, the arms dealer himself. This figure is amazing. This is Destro. Um, number two of the Cobra Legions, and some would say number one, <laughs> um, or would love to see what he would do at uh, the head of Cobra Commander's forces. Um, literally, this figure speaks for himself. Look how amazing the artwork is on the bottom of the uh, package here. But this one, modernized for 2020, but does not lose a thing from the original uh, figure, the original cartoon the original appeal. This figure is fantastic, complete with, uh, you got to see the chest of Cobra, of, uh, sorry, Destro, but you also have the cowl, um, the, the helmet or the face of Destro, metallic silver, very, very well done. Comes with a briefcase, comes with a uh, golden pistol here and another gun here. I wish I knew more about guns because I'd be able to maybe tell you what these guns are actually called. But nonetheless, look at Destro. Oh, I mean, remember the little missiles on his on his uh, wristband? I remember using those as a kid, uh, shooting the missiles off from his hand and stuff. Just amazing. This is Destro, a fine piece, if not the best figure they've released so far in the G.I. Joe Classified series. Um, the only person I could think that would beat this one is um, the figure we have up next. And that figure, of course is snake eyes ladies and gentlemen this is the snake eyes that i may have dreamed about in my whole life <laughs> um the accessories are, are are fantastic backpack gun silencer for the gun machine gun and of course he's a ninja so he's got to have a knife sword with sheath 
look at the, you know what? You can't see the detail. It's hard to see the detail first with my stupid lighting here. Um, but also you can only see so much of it in package. Well, guess what? We are going to open snake eyes so we can have some fun. Let's open snake eyes. Hands up, hands up, honey's all around. In your territory, yes, I'm in your town. Okay, this is Snake Eyes. Oh my god. If you could if you could be the one holding him, I swear to god you would be like mesmerized by the amount of detail in this figure the articulation is fantastic not disappointing or it doesn't take away from uh this character's fun and uh, posability early marvel legends you need to lift it up it just the articulation just got ridiculous and to the point where it was it was hinder hindering for the actual enjoyment of the figure this is not the case um just amazing look at this arm articulation spin the arm bend the arm spin the hand the pans are uh, molded to hold the guns or swords which is good um his leg look at that you can he, oh my god look at that articulation right there he's all black ladies and gentlemen there's like a red insignia on his chest there silver on the belt the buckles but look at this just literally black this is snake eyes holy cow let's get a let's see if we can get a good look at the at this figure look at him all right there is the machine gun look at him sword backpack belt with grenades knife that doesn't quite go in the sheath <laughs> and the the pistol with silencer that he can treat it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best Snake Eyes figure I have ever seen in my entire life. This is fantastic. Please, if you see this figure, go get them. Purchase them. Open them up so you can see the magnificence, the glory of this figure in person. But there is Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. Okay, there's my show for you this time. This is Revelation showing you some awesome G.I. Joe figures. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I hope you had fun looking at these figures if this is your first time seeing them. Um, they, these were my first time looking at them since I've gotten them. Uh, they look magnificent. Uh, please, if you're any kind of G.I. Joe fan or even just a six-inch figure, articulated figure fan, you got to get these. These are unbelievably awesome. Please go out and get them while they're still around. Christmas season's coming up. Go get them. I'm sure they already placed the, the stock on the shelves up somewhere at some point, right? At least I'd hope. These were tough to get. These were definitely tough to get. So I hope you're able to secure this G.I. Joe line if you are a fan. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, please, before you leave, uh, subscribe to my uh, channel. Uh, my channel is right here. It's IceboxCast. But if you subscribe, hit the little bell so you get alerts because you will also get notifications of my other two programs. Programs called Fractured Games, which is me playing video games. Um, they're not tutorials, though. Please don't, don't watch them for tutorials because I stink at playing the games. Um, but it's there to amuse you and hopefully entertain you, make you laugh and make you smile. Um, I have another one, uh, another program on my YouTube channel, and it's called Beating for All. Um, God, he's so awesome. Um, Beating for All is me showing you uh, some awesome perler bead work, artwork that is derived from um, perler beads, little plastic colored beads that you put on little pegs that make it whole image. It reminds me of like pixel art. Um, and guess what? I've done G.I. Joe ones too. So maybe I should be showing those on my Beating for All show at some point. But uh, take a look at that and have some fun with that show too. Um, I also have podcasts. I do an ice, one called Icebox Cast. Uh, I'm sorry, or just called the Icebox, I should say. And that one, I just talk about whatever the heck I want. I have guests every on there every now and then too. Currently doing a series of uh, myself and special guests, The Wild Card. And we're talking about Cobra Kai on uh, Netflix. 
uh, take so take a listen to that. The other podcast I have is called Comic Complex. That one talks about just comic books and comic books and all their goodness. So feel free if that's your thing, tune into Comic Complex as well. All my podcasts can be heard on uh, SoundCloud first, but then Google Podcasts, iTunes, iHeartRadio, um, Spotify, uh, all all the cool places where podcasts are listened to. So take a look at that or take a listen to those. Um, the best place though to follow us follow me is uh on uh, my facebook so if you have a facebook account please look for inspired creations h-o-m inspired creations h-o-m is the handle to find me on facebook there i post all the links to my youtube shows and i post all the links to my podcasts and uh, there we have lots of fun but the bonus on my facebook page is you get to see my cricket artwork um, that I use to uh, create vector artwork, essentially, to be put on stuff with the Cricut application onto like tumblers, uh, little canvas bags, masks even. Um, and I have lots of fun creating that. I've done some G.I. Joe artwork too. So again, go follow me there. You can see what I'm talking about. Um, and I post all the links. that I say that? I post all the links to my YouTube shows and, and podcasts there. Uh, one more look at Snake Eyes. Look at how awesome he is. <laughs> I even had him holding the sword because the sword was dangling out there. I don't want him to cut himself. You know what I'm saying? So I have him, <laughs> I have him holding the, the sword now. But there he is. Snake Eyes in all his glory. This I can't wait to have him fight Darth Maul. I want to have Snake Eyes fight Darth Maul. And now I have the figures to do it. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, hey, have fun, be safe, stay happy. And remember, it's never too late to create. Oh boy. Oh God, don't, don't bend it.